Let's begin with an introduction. As a trained psychotherapist, Amy Morin is used to helping those that are struggling. But in the year 2013, she was struggling herself. During this lowest point in her life, she came up with a list of 13 things that mentally strong people don't do. One year later, she made it into a book that became a bestseller. In this video, I will teach you the 13 key points that I have extracted from this book. And in the process, you will stock up your personal toolbox for life's notorious hardships. So let's get started. Hello and welcome to Think Big. Here we summarize books for you in an entertaining fashion. Let's begin with key point number one. Mentally strong people replace self-pity with gratitude. One day, Amy Moore witnessed a minor accident. Two cars in a supermarket parking lot were backing up and bumped into each other. Morin watched the two drivers get out of the car and she couldn't help noticing something. Even though those drivers just experienced the same accident, their reactions couldn't have been more different. The first driver got out and looked almost relieved how lucky he was that no one was seriously hurt. How miraculous that this hadn't led to a serious injury. The second driver, however, felt rather unlucky. Oh great, she moaned. Just exactly what she needed. Why does this BS always happen to her? She thought. Feeling sorry for oneself can be self-destructive because it trains the mind to focus on negatives. The most effective antidote to self-pity is gratitude. And people can cultivate gratitude by keeping a gratitude journal, making a daily list of things that they are grateful for, and sharing their blessings with others. Cultivating gratitude can help focus on positives, be more resilient, and become mentally stronger. Key point number two is that mentally strong people hold on to their power and forgive others. Lauren, a mother of two, had a neighbor who she found overbearing. The neighbor would come over unannounced, criticize Lauren's parenting style, and make nasty comments about her weight. Lauren found herself ruminating and complaining about her neighbors for several hours per week. Lauren realized that she was afraid of speaking up, and so she was letting her neighbor control how she felt and behaved. Laura sat down with her husband, and they decided to set clear and healthy boundaries with the neighbor. They told the neighbor to stop dropping by unannounced, and instead they would regularly invite her for dinner. They also demanded that the neighbor stop criticizing Lauren's parenting style. This is how Lauren took back control over her family home and her life. Key point number three is that mentally strong people are always ready to embrace change. Richard just got diagnosed with diabetes and his doctor told him that he was 75 pounds overweight. So he felt like he needed to make a change. He made a pledge to abstain from any sort of junk food. He signed up to a gym. All of this sounded like a good plan on paper. In real life, though, he soon found himself snacking in front of the TV instead of exercising. Despite all the best intentions, he did not lose a single pound. Making a change is difficult and requires mental strength. Overwhelming yourself with too much change at once can lead to failure. Mentally strong people break down their ambitions into smaller, more reachable goals and create concrete action steps to follow. Incremental change is more realistic and achievable than radical change. By making change less scary and more manageable, shying away from it becomes less of an option. Key point number four is that mentally strong people don't get distracted by things they can't control. James planned a whale watching trip with his daughter, but got upset when he learned that his ex-wife had taken their daughter on a similar trip the week before, supposedly to ruin their whale watching trip. He sent angry messages to his ex-wife and ruined the quality time with his daughter. So what exactly are we witnessing here? It's this. James got unnecessarily upset about something that was outside of his control. Mentally strong people understand what they can and cannot control and invest their time and energy wisely. James realized that he could not control his ex-wife's actions and focused on making the best of his time with his daughter. Key point number five, always wanting to please others does not work and being ready to sometimes displease makes you stronger. Megan felt constantly stressed and overwhelmed by the number of requests coming her way and had trouble saying no because she was a people pleaser. For example, a friend asked her to quickly bake some muffins for her stand at the festival, or her sister needed her as a babysitter, 
and her cousin always came over with some last-minute favor to ask. People who are too nice can be taken advantage of, and they can also go to great lengths to be liked by others, which can be at the expense of their own needs. Always focusing on other people's needs can be stressful and can damage relationships, as it did with Megan. There are two tips to help people who are overly agreeable. The two tips are, number one, it's not their job to make everyone happy all the time, and it's okay for others to be upset or disappointed. And number two, taking time before answering a request can make it easier to say no. Key point number six is that mentally strong people are not afraid of taking calculated risks. When Dale told his wife about an old dream of his opening up his own furniture store, Oh, what a dreamer you are, she said. She said, why would you give up a stable job as a high school teacher for a risky undertaking like this? So he kept on working in the same old job. The only problem was he felt defeated and depressed. He found himself stuck in a dilemma. What should he do? Like Dale, most people are naturally averse to risk-taking, often entertaining worst-case scenarios in their head. Mentally strong people take calculated risks by getting a full and realistic picture of potential dangers and benefits and finding a way to appropriately adjust the risks involved. They avoid an all-or-nothing attitude and look for a middle way. Dale later realized that he could have the safety of his daytime job and the excitement of running his own business by starting his furniture shop on a part-time basis and selling his creations online before opening a storefront later on. Key point number seven is that coming to terms with the past makes you stronger, but it takes concrete steps to do so. Gloria has a difficult relationship with her daughter due to her self-destructive behavior and inability to move forward. Gloria feels guilt and shame from not being there for her daughter in the past, which leads her to enable her daughter's behavior. Dwelling on the past can be destructive and prevent mental strength. While some retrospective reflection is healthy, too much can be harmful. To stop dwelling on the past, acceptance is key. Realizing that the past cannot be changed and forgive those who have caused pain. Moving forward with intention is also important. Focus on something new or come up with new goals for the future to replace negative thoughts. There are three levels of mental strength, thoughts, behavior, and emotions. Bad habits in one area can spill over into others, but improving one area can positively impact others. They are all intertwined. Key point number eight is that mentally strong people avoid repeating the same mistakes and this requires self-discipline. Roland Macy launched a dry goods store in a quiet location in the mid-19th century, Massachusetts, which failed due to lack of customers. To attract customers, Macy organized a parade, but no one turned up due to the heat, and he fell deep into debt and had to give up his business. Macy learned from his mistakes and opened a new Macy dry goods store in a prime location in downtown New York, which became a massive hit and Macy's became one of the biggest chain stores in the world. Mentally strong people study and learn from their mistakes so that they don't repeat them in the future. To learn from your mistakes, ask yourself what you did wrong, what you could have done better, and what you can do different next time. Key point number nine is that mentally strong people don't envy other people's success, but rather seek to collaborate with them. Researchers published a study in 2013 that showed how social media can negatively affect users' life satisfaction by making them envious of other people's successes and happiness. This feeling of resentment is a sign of one's own insecurities and can be particularly easy to feel when one does not know what they want themselves. Mentally strong people don't feel resentment towards others and instead gain clarity about what success and accomplishment looks like to them. Changing one's attitude from competing to collaborating can help get rid of resentful emotions and one can learn from others' successes instead of feeling jealous of them. Key point number 10 is that mentally strong people don't give up easily and they are self-compassionate about failure. Thomas Edison failed many times before he invented the light bulb. Thomas Edison's failures were seen as learning opportunities for him and he considered himself one step closer to success each time he failed. Most people view failure as a negative experience and may even give up easily when faced with hardship. Getting rid of 
unhealthy beliefs about success and failure is crucial as regular practice can trump natural talent and perseverance is more important than IQ in achieving long-term success. Self-compassion is key when facing challenges as being too hard on oneself can lead to resignation and false beliefs of inadequacy. It is important to be kind to one's own weaknesses and develop a realistic view of what's possible. Key point number 11 is that mentally strong people are comfortable being alone and use meditation to become more resilient. Vanessa has a particular problem. Despite being exhausted from busy work days, she has a hard time falling asleep. It feels like she can't turn her mind off. Therefore, it's important to schedule some alone time for yourself. And during this alone time, find activities to do alone that allow for self-reflection and quieting of the mind, such as journaling, meditation, and mindfulness practices. By doing this, one can improve their mental well-being, life satisfaction, stress management, and recharge their batteries. Key point number 12 is that many people have an entitlement mentality, but strong people concentrate on giving rather than taking. Lucas was a fresh out of college and just starting out. He behaved like a know-it-all. Because of this, Lucas was not liked by his co-workers. Lucas made a pledge to change. He stopped assuming that he knew everything better and grew open to learn more from those around him. This change in attitude may help him earn a promotion in the future. Key point number 13 is that mentally strong people recognize that achievements take time and that progress is not always immediately apparent. Many people today expect instant gratification due to the prevalence of fast delivery and on-demand services. However, change and progress often requires a long-term commitment and hard work. People with unrealistic expectations may become discouraged and give up early on. To embrace the long haul, people should set realistic expectations and avoid fixed deadlines for goals. You should also practice perseverance and celebrate small accomplishments along the way. Let's summarize the 13 things mentally strong people don't do. Mentally strong people refrain from feeling sorry for themselves. They never give up their power away to others. They embrace change. They avoid fretting about things they can't control. They stop worrying about pleasing everyone. They're never afraid of taking risks, but they are clever about which risks they take. Mentally strong people resist the urge to dwell on the past. They make sure to never make the same mistakes twice. Mentally strong people are not resentful of other people's success. Mentally strong people keep at it and never give up after an initial failure. They face their fears of being alone and overcome them. They are on guard for feelings of entitlement. They never expect immediate results and they are patient. Thank you for watching Think Big. Please comment, like and subscribe.